Mathan and today in this PSLE 2019 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 12. In my channel, I am to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 12. Okay, this is question 12 and this question is setting us on graph and rates. Okay, so first let's read the question for part A. Mr. Lim used two machines with different printing rates for printing job. He started machine A at 12 o'clock and he started machine B two minutes later. He stops both machines at 12.05. The graphs below show the total number of pages printed by each machine from the start of printing. Okay, so for part A, they are asking us, how many pages have been printed by machine A at the time Mr. Lim started machine B? So basically, they are asking, so before that, let's highlight the key information, okay? So he used two machines, dif different printing rates, okay? So he started machine A at 12, started machine B at two meters later, two minutes later, okay? So this is basically 12.02, okay? After that, he stopped both machines at 12.05. The graph below show the total number of pages printed by each machine from the start of printing, okay? So they're asking us how many pages have been printed by machine A at the time started machine B, okay? So basically, they are asking us to find how many, how much, how many pages were printed from here to here. Okay. So from 12 to 12:02. So basically, we just need to look at this point over here. Okay. And many students have this misconception, misconception that, okay, so uh, 12:00, uh, 12 o'clock, right? I printed zero. Okay. At 12.01, I printed this many. And then at 12.02, I printed this many. And then when they're asking for 12.02, right, they actually add all of them up. They add 12.00, the number of printer. Then 12.01, they add the number of printer. And then they also add 12.02. Okay, but this is actually wrong. Shouldn't be doing this. Okay, this is actually wrong. But what you should be doing is actually to... Just look at the point 1202, okay? Because that's already printed. So this point is actually adding up all of this, okay? So you gotta understand that. So first, we need to find the value of each line, right? So let's look at each line. So this is one line, two line, three line, four line. So there's four line. So first, I told you must find the difference, right? 50 minus 0. So it is 50. After that, you must look at the number of gaps. So there's 1 gap, 2 gap, 3 gap, 4 gap, 5 gap. So there's 5 gaps. So must take 50, divide by 5. So it will give us 10. So each line is 10. Okay? So I think you understand that. So let me write down here. So for 1201, is over here, right? This point. So it's actually two lines above 50. So it should be 70. Then for 1202, it's over here. So it is one line below 150. So it should be 140. So for part A, the answer is 140. Because this is at 1202. Okay? So I hope you understand my explanation. Okay, let's move on to labeling all of them. So here it is one line above 200. So it should be 210. Over here, it is two lines below 300. So it should be 280. Over here is 350. Okay. After that, let's take a look over here. So each line is 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's just check the number of lines and the number of gaps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so it's correct. Each line is also 10 over here. So let me just label them up. So 1202, 0, 0, okay. And then at 1203, it is one line below 100, so it should be 90. And then at 1204, it is 1, 2. So it is two lines below 200, so it should be uh, 180. And 
hundred and eighty, right? And then over here it is two lines, it is two lines above two hundred and fifty, so it should be two hundred sixty and two hundred seventy, right? So this is two hundred and seventy. Okay, so I think I'm all correct. Okay, so I hope you understand this so far. So now let's move on to looking at part B. So this is part B. What was the total number of pages printed by the two machines from 1200 to 1205? Okay, by the two machines. Okay, so what was the total number of pages printed by the two machines? Okay, so like I said for part A, we just need to look at the top parts, okay? So we just need to add up 350 plus 270, okay? So it will give us 620 as the answer for part B. Okay, now that we have looked at part B, let's look at part C. Which machine, A or B, has a faster printing rate? What is the difference in the number of pages printed in one minute? Okay, this is actually pretty simple. See? The first one is at 70 for machine A, right? Second one is at 140, right? So this is actually the printing rate, okay? So instead of counting everything, you could also use the printing rate to find out. So it's basically the multiple of 70. So 70 per minute, 70, add another 70, 140, add another 70, 210, add another 70, 280, add another 70, 350, okay? And this printing rate is actually by 90. So 90 plus 90 equals to 180 plus 90 equals to 270. So the printing rate is actually for machine A by per one minute. Okay, for machine A per min is 70. Okay, for machine B per minute is 90. Okay, so actually machine B has a faster printing rate. And then they are asking the difference, right? Faster printing rate. So what is the difference in the number of pages printed in one minute? So we the first answer is that machine B has a faster printing rate and the difference is actually 90 minus 70, which is 20. Okay, so this is the answer for part C. Okay, so I hope you understood my explanation for this question, question 12, both part A, B, and uh, okay, C. And I hope you have learned some misconceptions of students. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.